Hello there in CNC land. Um, I'm doing a, I, I don't know if you noticed this uh, sling on me, but I had rotator cuff surgery done uh, a little over three weeks ago. My Dr. Shapiro at Kennedy White uh, group in Sarasota. And I noticed that uh, they gave me these, they gave me this video and they gave me this uh, picture here and it said con med. And I'm like, con med? I remember about five years ago, we went to Largo, Florida and visited con med Limvitech, which is a supplier of surgical tooling. So I, I was very interested, you know, Actually, we took a tour with the class. They're always in need of machinists and CNC machinists. They run sh three shifts a day there. And uh, they were very, uh, wanted us to come really bad <laughs> because they need people. And it's even, you know, even more now. Uh, we also visited another place that my same doctor goes through called Arthrex. And they're down in Naples area, uh, southwest Florida. Same thing there. They need a lot of CNC machinists there. And we also have placed people in a company uh, called Exact Tech. And they're making uh, hips, titanium hip and knee replacements. So the medical field is very big in the CNC world. So I'm looking at actually, a, uh, I saved some of these videos. This is from an MRI. Let me see, I'll turn the volume down here. Next okay. Let me show you proximal migration. It means so. Uh, and another thing I always notice that doctors always talk in millimeters. <laughs> really good millimeters. So right up in this area here is where I had the tear, and uh, in my case, it's partially age-related because you get. Um, I had a seventy. I had more than a seventy percent tear, but. Uh, some of the bone gets kind of hooked and it starts ripping around here. So it's, this is the tendon right there. And this gets torn away. And sometimes they have a total tear. It's it's not really a good blood supply area. It doesn't heal itself well. Um, you, could, you could actually live with something like that for quite a long time. But I've been working out for a while and I noticed my overhead moves weren't really good and always trying to stretch out but I went and had an MRI done and he said you have a 50% tear well when he got into surgery he said it was actually a 90% tear but uh, what they do is pull this back together so that gives you a little idea what's going on there right oh I don't know what the heck this thing is let's be a YouTube ad okay let's go on to Con med. I'm going to bring over the uh, this other video here. Con med. So I found this thing, uh, sample use only, full screen. Okay. Let me pull this back down. All right. So I'm looking at this going, Con med, Limitic, rotator, cuff, shoulder surgery. Now, I actually thought they only did imaging. They did the tools that you use, but actually they had a whole, they got a whole system and when they showed us the training uh, where the doctors go in and they work on dummies and actually uh, cadavers in order to get the technique right. The Tech Shoulder Restoration System, an innovative solution for so, the care of rotated So, I'm looking through this. And there's, there's the old uh, video there, right? I'm going to jump ahead here. At the dead man's angle, so they, like this is a tool that would have to be made, right? This is what the doctor's using. It's funny, they actually use machinist terminology like a pilot screw, a uh, punch. Uh, so they actually take a little hammer and punch it. Oh, I think I missed a part there. And you got to make this little screw-in piece. This screw-in piece is where they're going to put the sutures. It's inserted down to the horizontal laser line. Being careful to note. So right, these little marks here, that's going to be a mark in there. So let me uh, pull up my video, right? I'm going to bring over my video of me. They actually videotape me. 
And I was looking as I went along, and I'm watching. I'm watching there. And look at that. This is that little screw. This is this is all CNC machine. Look at all this stuff. Of course, and uh, finds a spot, picks the right angle. He's going to drive it in. He's actually a little bit of hammering, and now he's doing a. Uh, it's actually like a self-tapping screw. Goes in there, and you get you get the little line there. That's his depth marker, and you can count rotations, just like I would if I was counting screw threads. <laughs> All right. And there's the anchor. This has the sutures already in it, so he doesn't have to loop something through. This is a really solid way to hold this through. And what they'll do is thread it. And that actually, I, I didn't see that in the original video, but I got to saw the tool that actually had the uh, all in there. And uh, it's actually interesting because I actually at one time made brain surgery equipment. All the hardware that went up on top and we were using a, uh, a German CNC machine called a Deckel with a Heidenheim control. So, uh, but it could have been made on anything. Uh, Okay, I'm back with you now. This is actually uh, the ConMed website. And orthopedics, laparoscopic, pulmonary patient solutions, medical education, customer experience about us, careers. Let me just let's take a look what they got for careers here. Careers, benefits, uh, careers home. Okay. Oh, what do they get for jobs here? Looks like a nice place to work. I'm going to allow the cookies for now. Conmed culture. Rocking. Manufacturing, 25 jobs. Now, I actually haven't looked at And I know it's not a hospital, but there's a Mazak there, Matrix. Here's a micro height. We actually have one of those in school. Not that level, but same thing. It's a height gauge. So you can see guys, right? Right. Look at through here. Need a senior plant manager. CNC machinist, third shift. CNC machinist, first shift. What do they want here? Steady at machining centers, lace, turns, Swiss machines. Buyer, planner, team leader. Let's see what else they got there. Warehouse, maintenance technician. CNC, not a CNC machinist, setup, third shift. Complex CNC machines. Another CNC machine. Maintenance mechanic. What else we got here? Those guys look happy. It's another CNC machinist. CNC specialist. So oh, here we go. And another CNC machine. So looking for jobs, right? All right. That's careers, right? Medical, so orthopedics. I guess I fall into orthopedics. Shoulder, knee, hip, elbow, hand, and wrist. Let's look under shoulder again. Shoulder. Rotator cuff. Instability repair. Biceps tears. I got a lot of tools there. Conmed manual instruments. The why not suture. That's actually, I guess that's what they use is the why not system. Uh, rotator surgical technique. What we got here? A little video there, right? The Why Not RC. Sorry about that. I didn't know it was going to be so loud. Self punching all suture anchor was specifically designed for rotator cuff repair. To begin, prepare the footprint in subacromial space yeah, I saw using that a tool there. dual purpose shaver blade Prepping. and the edge bipolar arthroscopic RF device. I can show you the video. A triple loaded Why Not RC anchor is inserted past wow. the primary laser line. Then laser the inserter line. is removed. Pull so back removed. on all suture strands to set the anchor firmly against oh, the I saw that tool. Next, insert a second anchor. The Why Not RC anchor control. All right, so we go back to the video here. Okay. All right, let's follow along here. Notice there's blue ones and white ones, and they actually have that mark, so you can you got to make like a cross. You know. 
and it's all exciting. So that's actually, that's my hole. <laughs> that's the tear I had. It's a big hole. Oh my god. There's another tool there. Jump in the head. There's this little screw. This is the puncher thing that pops a hole through the, the tendon and loops the shoots you through. All right, let's go ahead here. I know this is exciting, but yeah. I like showing off the CNC teeth. Because actually, I have a CNC tooth. My doctor has a uh, CNC machine in his dentist's office. Uh, I, I forget what the brand name is, but he actually showed me because he's actually got two tools. He scans my tooth. It is a square block, and he machines it, and he has to put it in, and he's very little work, and then they have to harden it afterwards. So, all right, I know this is exciting and all that. So, ooh, so the let's go. <laughs> Where are we going with this thing here? Tracks vertically and expands laterally to provide 360 degree form fit fixation. The Spectrum Auto Pass Suture Passer reliably passes suture in thick tissue and gives the surgeon yep. the option of capturing the suture in the trap door or releasing I'm glad the suture in the joint. This stuff that's After knows what passing they're doing. six simple stitches, sliding knots are tied from anti. Oh, what happened there? Well, anyway, they tie a nice knot, so. I know I kind of jumped ahead here. This is my YouTube channel, CNC Machinist Education Network, right here. Right there. Okay. Um, I have some playlists here. I got some uh, somewhere here. I think on medical stuff. Medical. Hopefully I can find it. Robots, medical and orthopedic. Here we go. All right. Oh, another Conman one. Exact tech knee replacement. We actually have a couple of people working there. Let's pull up the screen here. I hurt my knee playing. Are those CSC machines back there? I know. I know they're not Haas. They're Mazex, but. Uh... Uh, beach volleyball. I went up, the spike of ball came down and twisted the wrong way. When I hurt my knee, I couldn't walk for great distance. I couldn't bike. Um, so this is something that works at Exact Tech. Ended up getting an Exact Tech knee. I don't know if you get a discount for that, but anyway, let's jump ahead here. So he's anyway talking about how well it's done. And, oh, let's look at some machining here. From design, and bring it to reality out of the machine. I, I know the product. I know everything that went into my knee. I know all the people that made it. I know all the people that inspected it, packaged it, and implanted it, so. Look at all those CMM work there. We actually have one of these in our classroom from Exact Tech. It's a, it's a great feeling. So I would never imagine anything that I have designed or made uh, would end up in my body. It feels great, knowing that it is a great product. You know, the implant has changed my life because it's going to bring me back to the way I was four years ago, where I've... I've... All right. So anyway, back to living a good life again. Let's go back to, to the CNC machines. Let me put that back on. The Maze, Mazak Matrix. How about back to the uh, CMM? Okay. So anyway, um, I don't know what kind of CMM. It's a Renishaw probe on that, but um, couldn't tell you what brand. But anyway, it's a uh, medical field. Uh, I've, like I said, I've made, I've actually machined uh, parts of a uh, hip implant for a company called. Tico Met. Tico Met is actually, they got a lot of plants in New England and on the east coast of Florida. Uh, they're always looking for CNC people. I see it all the time on the Employ Florida website. Uh, so Arthrex in southwest Florida, always looking for people. Uh, Conman Limbitech, obviously. Exact Tech's looking for people. So 
these are, you know, in this field's only going to get bigger. It's going to be people like me and you getting these titanium parts here. So, titanium, not just for aerospace, but huge in the industry here. So, I don't know what else to say about this. Let's see if I have any other uh, cool... Oh, you has UMMC used for first choice for medical... <laughs> Electa. Ryan, this is a really interesting story, this one, because... This is Haas, UK. Importantly, to state this one, Cal, uh, it was a white paper written for that white paper. You've got it here. Other people from there, so you can tackle the... Not sure what they're making, but... All right, get that one. Titanium implant. Another one, five-axis medical device. Yeah, that's, that's a hip. Some simulation on the side there. All right. Partial knee. How it's made custom knee braces. Oh, this is the one here. This is the uh, the machine my dentist has. The Cerec Zirconia Workflow. As it turns out, I actually... Well, let me let it play a little bit. My top one up here. This is Cubic Zirconia. And he didn't do this, but it goes out to a dental lab that they see a C machine. So, but this machine that he has will do singles. So he does the scanning or digital impression to call it, but it's like reverse engineering. Comes up with a plan, All right? He has the same machine. Right there, the Serona got two. Uh, see right there, it's it's actually two spindles in this one. Oh yeah, two spindles, just like that one, right? Knocks it off. Does a little does a little work. Put it in your mouth. Done. This is like the baking oven, I guess here. Ah. Uh, I only know how to machine this stuff. I, I don't really know much more about it, so. Put it in. He says it, it needs very little work. I don't know what the heck that is. Were they painting it? Or... Oh, five minutes of glazing. Oh, I guess that's to get the color to match your color. And a little cementing. So, and here's another one here. I know this is not sure, but they actually machine polyethylene inserts, say the exact tech. So some are molded and molded, and some are machined. So right there, in a knee there, there's a uh, titanium, and they got plastic in the middle. And some some knee implants are metal on metal. I don't know if that's popular anymore, but this is metal, plastic, and metal. There's three different parts there. And of course, they're always revising, so it gets better as they go along. So that's it. The world of uh, medical devices and. Uh, CNC machining, you know, so anyway, another three weeks with this baby on and then I got to do another six to 12 weeks of therapy. You know, I can't, can't make it heal any faster, but glad we have tooling and stuff that we can uh, get this done much faster. Okay. Talk to you later.